repeated the act the following year and since then have appeared in two semi-finals and one other final. In that one, they lost to Rangers, who have had something of an Indian sign over the Tanadice Club in big matches. They've met eight times in League Cup ties and United have yet to win. This time, however, they go into the game with a slight edge. Rangers are still obviously reeling from that Inter Milan defeat, while the Tanadice team picked up a superb result against Linz in Austria. A result, in fact, that skipper Paul Hegarty feels will have restored much of the side's confidence after some poor league results. I think so, yeah, because it all stems from the Park Allen. Uh, we hadn't been getting the results uh, during the games, and uh, I think if you're getting results, the confidence spreads throughout the team. How was that showing in the players? Do you think there was a lack of willingness to try different things? Well, I think when things are not going well for you, I think um, it is difficult to maybe uh, try the, the difficult ball instead of going back to the basics and just playing the easy ball and, and then gaining your confidence in the easy pass and then going from strength to strength. What do you think that result on Wednesday night against Lynch will have done for the confidence? I think it's done an, an awful lot of good. Um, we needed a result, especially away from home, and um, hopefully we continue, and especially with the, the game on Sunday, um, I think that was a big boost to us. The team played exceptionally well, didn't they, in Lynch? Yes, we knocked the ball about well. We, we played the ball simple, and just what I said earlier on, we knocked the ball about simple, and then we gained in confidence we started to string better passes together and I think at one time we, we strung about 25-30 passes uh, during that game. Now looking at the Skull Cup final, you've met Rangers in something like eight League Cup ties and haven't beaten them yet. They seem to have this Indian sign over you. Why do you think that is? Well, that's a, a $64,000 question. It's, it's like everything else. Once you have a, an Indian sign over a, uh, a team, you know, it's hard to get off it. Um, we had that over Celtic. Uh, for a while there, and then they beat us on Saturday. So I hope that it's a good omen and uh, we can reverse the role and hopefully beat Rangers on, on Sunday, Alan. One of the encouraging things for the team must be the, the way Paul Sturrock's playing just now. Well, when Paul Sturrock's playing, I think um, everyone around him uh, gains in confidence because uh, Paul holds the ball so well and, and turns defences and makes chances for other players. And I think that's important uh, for, our, for our club. Now, you'll be going for your third League Cup win. Which of the other two have given you the most pleasure? I think the, the main one that gave us satisfaction, for me personally, was uh, the first one against Aberdeen. Um, because it's like everything else, once you've broken your duck, um, I think, it's going back to confidence again, you just sort of go from strength to strength. And that was an important one, not, for, not only for the, the club, but the players in general. What about the Dundee one? Well, uh, that was a, a difficult one as well, because that was a, a local derby as well, and there was a lot of pressure. Uh, on both sets of teams, uh, and that was that was super as well, especially one at, at their ground, and um, it was it was a great occasion. That's Paul Sturrock advancing to the box. If Sturrock can turn, there it is, a chance for Dodds. That's it, the opening goal, David Dodds. A pain with the corner kick. Hegarty's header off the bar. The ball's in the net. Paul Sturrock scores the second goal for United. There's Payne with the corner. Hegger is there again. That's it. Sturrock does it again. 